Hi, this is Sarah, and today let's talk some art on a budget. Crayola oil pastels. I actually didn't know Crayola made oil pastels until I was getting ready for the trip, and I was in Meyer, and I was walking by the aisle, and I look over, and I'm like, hey, Crayola makes oil pastels. No way. And I was wondering what they were like because, you know, growing up as a kid, I always had these, which are the Craypaws, the junior artist ones, and they come in like a tray like this, and I remember drawing the sunrise at my house in Connecticut early morning when I was a girl with these, and a lot of times on the river trail, I like to take out a set of these, which are the artist lofts ones, and I actually have had these guys um, melt on me because of the oil in there, the binder, whatever they use, and they condensate in the really high heat. Not recommended. <laughs> And then, you know, you've got your, your professional oil pastels. I've just got them all in a bag here, but I'll pull one out to show you. These are, you know, your Grummenbacher. And that's what a professional oil pastel stick looks like. So what can we do with a Crayola oil pastel like this? I mean, are, are, do they even work? <laughs> all right, let's check it out. All right, as you can see here from my little art on the budget chart, I tried to go through and do a little color sample. As you can see here, they're kind of choppy. And then, you know, I got our little butterfly down here helping us out. Oh my gosh, I really struggled with the white, especially right there. It drove me absolutely crazy. I think I ripped part of the paper trying to get that white spot in there. And as you can see here, they I, I did have trouble kind of laying down a smooth palette but I did like the color palette that they gave you I think for a kid that would be very appealing as opposed to like um the artist loft ones which have more adult color palette these are more comparable to the cray paws I'm used to and for doing a scratch pad it worked really well um I've got the bottom layer is actually the Crayola colored pencils and then I used the black on top of it, and then I scratched it off with just a utility knife. And I think if you were a kid doing scratch pads and you wanted to, you know, do a scratch pad in more than a color than just black, it would be fantastic. Um, it, it did work really well for that. Um, and well, how about a professional art piece? <laughs> oh my gosh, this absolutely just about drove me nuts. Um, but yeah, I did attempt to do a professional art piece with it, and it was really, really hard to blend and do some of those advanced techniques, even though on the back of the oil pastel box, Crayola does recommend that they could be doing some blending techniques, but as you can see here, it got really saturated, like if you can see the spot up here, they were really hard to blend because I wanted the light to come up over the mountains like in my mom's and it was hard to get some good detail down here and I kind of lost <laughs> the the tree going over here because it was just so saturated but I mean I guess it is <laughs> semi possible to create a halfway decent professional art piece but honestly they were super hard to work with and I don't think like that I would recommend doing like really anything serious with them except yeah it was possible and if you don't want to spend a bunch of money on the Grummenbachers <laughs> they are an option and then here here's here's what I was trying to do this is my mom's and it's on display right now at the Jeffrey Civic Center it's not for sale but I just thought it was really neat to try to emulate one of her pieces because a lot of the times that's what a famous artist or you know a beginning artist will do they'll you know go and paint the Mona Lisa or something and you can only do it in a smaller size not you can't do it the same scale but that's a lot of times how you learn to be a better artist and while I hope you've enjoyed this little talk about oil pastels I've done a lot of oil pastel work over my period of my life um, my mom taught me a lot of stuff and I really did try to copy her style in here so you could get a good idea of it. But I do love that piece of work and like I said, you can see it now. It's on display at the Jaffrey Civic Center and I thought this would just be a fun little exercise to kind of 
loosen up and get my morning going. So I hope you enjoyed this little talk on oil pastels and happy painting. Have a great day.